which was an institution founded by Gandhiji in 1920. Dr. Iyengar, earlier director of the Center for Social Studies, Surat, and the Gujarat Institute of Development Research, is essentially a Gandhian in thought and praxis. Actively involved with voluntary organizations, he has worked for the rehabilitation of the Narmada project affected tribals. As trustee of many voluntary organizations, he is also a visiting faculty in different universities and training institutions in Gujarat. He has edited and authored books and published over 60 research articles. Our second panelist is Mr. Pavan K. Varma, Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha, a very distinguished author and diplomat. From 1976, Mr. Varma was a diplomat who served in several countries. High Commissioner of India to Cyprus and Bhutan, Director of the Nehru Centre in London, Joint Secretary for Africa and the Director General of the ICCR, Press Secretary to the President, Mr. Pavan Varma is essentially a writer. And his more recent books are Becoming Indian, The Unfinished Revolution of Culture and Identity, the great Indian middle class, and more recently, when, when loss is gain. Today we shall also be joined by two more panelists of the younger generation to give you a perspective on the role of idealism in nation building. We have Mr. Niaz Laik, who completed his Master's in Development Economics from SOAS, London, and subsequently worked in a private equity firm for four years before deciding it was time to come to in back home and work with the intersection of finance and social impact. He worked with Loc Capital, a venture capital firm, on creating social impact. Recently, he has started a venture of his own called The Hammock, which aims to improve the quality of shared housing available to students, young professionals in the cities of the country. Our fourth panelist, is Sanchita Gajapati Raju, who is currently managing trustee of SANA, an NGO which provides clean drinking water and sanitation to marginalized sections of Indian society. Sanchita is implementing the integrated model of solar-powered compact water purifying station come community bio toilets in 10 villages of coastal Andhra Pradesh. In 2014, Sanwa was working on solutions to provide clean drinking water to the students of Kabul University and schools in the region. Sanchita is a qualified lawyer enrolled with the Bar Council of India. Our moderator for the panel is former chairman of the Sarvoda International Trust, New Delhi chapter, Mr. B.G. Verghese, a person who was infused in the members of the Trust, a great sense of commitment and dedication to the cause. An outstanding journalist, recipient of the Magasese Award for Journalism, involved in many human rights initiatives, a true crusader for civil rights, member of several Indian dialogue groups with Bangladesh, Nepal, China, Pakistan. This year, Mr. Verghese published a masterpiece entitled Post Haste quintessential India, juxtaposing each of the landmarks in our history with rare postage stamps. Tonight, our artist is Dr. Radhika Chopra, a very versatile vocalist who is a connoisseur of raga and gaiki. Known in many countries of the world for her impeccable diction of both Hindi and Urdu, she has won accolades across the globe. From ghazals, dadra, tumri, compositions, to bhajan, sufi and folk, Radhika is commissioned by the Ministry of Culture and the ICCR to promote Indian classical music. We are very fortunate that she is now a trustee of the New Delhi chapter of the Sarvode International Trust. I shall now request Mrs. Indira Varma, Chairperson of the Trust, to kindly honour our panellists. <laughs> 